I'm what you would call a dude birder. What do I do? Uh, I do a lot of things. First, there's cooking. So depending on what I've decided to cook, I can actually start the whole day cooking. Other times naman, I decide to go gardening. And what else? I like to sew. I love to sew my own clothes. <laughs> what else do I do? I do a lot of things. I like to self manicure and pedicure. Oh, that's also another thing. I'm, I'm very active with the Toastmasters. That's a worldwide organization that teaches its members communication and leadership skills. <sighs> sister-in-law was already a very avid birder and she would point out all sorts of birds out to me whenever I was with her so that was fun. Finally in 2008 I joined and really I joined with a big bang. My very first outing was in Kandaba remember when we were being filmed by David Seldran so that was quite a big bang. I was amazed though in the sense that they could stand there all day looking at the birds. So the enthusiasm of birders I'm not that much of a crazy. If I've seen the bird and I've observed it to my satisfaction and I more or less can see its teeth and its beak and I've observed just about every part of the bird I can see and that I can recognize the bird at several angles the way it flies, I'm satisfied. My goal is to be able to identify the bird with just a short, a short view. I know more or less what kind of bird that is just based on its character. That will satisfy me. I don't get too many reactions when it comes to when they say I'm a birder, but there was one reaction. And they said, you're too, you're too young to be a birder. <laughs> Excuse me? Any age is good enough for a bird for, to become a birder. I think it's a hobby. I when I observe my fellow birders, part of it is a hobby. They build up their knowledge on birds and they collect species, identifying species. How is, well, definitely they pointed out all the good birdie places to me. The vast knowledge that comes to me from the wide experience of all the birders. The Wild Bird Club focuses on birds, speci specifically in the Philippines. The birds here in this country are special. They're endemic, of course. Bird club activities, the meeting, and the food. <laughs> So you can pee in the woods on naturel. <laughs> Hi, I'm Miyano Asano. I'm a student of Miriam College Grade School. I'm seventh grader. I wake up every day, five in the morning, then I read the school bus then when I arrive in school study Saga then lunch with my friends. Sometimes I study in the park and yeah. My favorite subject is math. And yeah. Four years ago, I went with my dad to a raptor watching, then I really enjoyed it, and I enjoyed what birds do, that's why I really get, got interested in bird watching. After the raptor watching, I've been going to different places like Islid, Mount Palaypalay, Makiling, Kandaba, and Balang. And I really see lots of birds and I have lots of light birds on it. I think people should 
go birding so that they would be aware of what's around them and what nature, do nature. The reaction that I got my, from my friends when they learned, uh, when they heard that I go bird watching, is that they always say that I'm a nerd because I go bird watching, and they always laugh at me. They always make jokes about me. Yeah. WBCP helped me as a birder because they showed me lots of places where I can go to. It made me realize that I have a bigger classroom. I enjoy gathering with the other fellow members and I enjoy doing nature trips with them because I learn different stuff. I get to see what I don't see before. I invite you to join us so that you can learn more stuff about the environment, birds, and besides bird watching, there is so many things you can do when you're with the WBCP and yeah. I'm going job for some government employee. <laughs> Ooh, baby, I love your way every day. Typical work day for me would be waking up at 5.30. Go to work sa may City Garcia lang at 8 o'clock. Before 8 o'clock, naglalakad ako for 40 minutes at least exercise na rin para, para training na rin pag sa mga trades. Yung mga highlights of my day would be ano, um, pag may sports season na starting with UAP, sa basketball, tapos volleyball. Sports fanatic talaga ako. Malaman lang yung score. Kailangan lang na dyan, hindi naman kailangan sobrang distracted sa work. Pero meron akong favorite companion ngayon. Kapag sports season na, starting with UAP, is my phone. With TV. Huh? <laughs> Kasi basta, alam mo yun, man, nandiyan na sa tabi mo, makita mo lang yung score, makita mo yung laro, yung tatago ko na bigla ka lang, eh, pag nakascore na yun. Very coincidental yung interest, how I got interested in birding. Nasa blue wave ako nun, on a date, habang pinapark yung car, nakita ko, biglang may lumipad na malaking, ano, from the... Grasslands of SM Moa. Wala pa Moa nun. So, sabi ko, awit kaya yun? For me, yun ay lumilipad na bird nun paggabi. Automatic awit. So, naghanap ako sa internet to look for uh, an expert to confirm yung nakita ko. Tapos, yun nga, na I stumbled upon my bird club. Uh, si Mike Luin sumagot. Sabi niya, grass awit nga nun. Tapos, ever since, kinukulit na ako ni Mike sa email. Uh, niya, join the club trip, join oh, my guided trip sa ginto, my guided trip. Pero hindi ako sumasali pa nun. Uh, napasali lang ako when I met Maya. Sige, sali tayo. Try natin, try natin tong ano na to. Try natin tong wild bird club na to. Tapos planning pa ako nun, since gusto ko lahat arrange, parang sabi kasi nung sa email ni Mike eh, first come first serve sa binoculars, siyempre gusto, gusto namin mauna. Nung binigyan na kami ng binoculars, after ng orientation, naglakad-lakad na sila, tapos ganyan na ganyan. Sabi ko kay Mike, ang gagawin natin, gagawin niya ganyan yung tapo. Parang ako lang ito. At ang una ko na spot was uh, an avocado tree. Sabi ko, uy, ang dami yung avocado. <laughs> Ngayon ako nakita ng avocado tree sa UP. To, 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 uh, I studied in UP after joining the club. Naisip ko sana na kung, sa, kung student pa lang ako, birder na ako. Ang dami ko na siguro nakita. Yung attitude as a birder, 
we got to experience yung paano talaga mag bird mag bird bird watching always be on time so bird club natuto ko pag late ka iwan ka kasi the birds won't won't wait for you uh, a significant thing that I learned about the club is that may ibon pala dito sa Pilipinas I remember yung side trip yung una kong ibon na nakita was yung Philippine Pygmy Woodpecker na nagulat ako kasi meron pala dito sa Manila before the bird club I didn't enjoy what was happening around me. Mas naging aware ako ngayon na hindi lang about birds, but I've noticed yung mga kasama dyan yung mga ibang hayop, like uh, reptiles or amphibians na nakita namin. Nalaman ko rin yung mga iba't ibang plants, native tsaka mga exotics. Tapos naramo ko na rin yung ibig sabihin ng deciduous. Being aware of your environment, yun yung palagi rin namin sinasabi kapag nag-guided trip na bird watching opens your eyes and ears to the world around you. Marami ako na mga funny reactions. Siyempre mga k**** yung mga kaibigan ko. Bip-bip-bip. One of the best, hindi niya mag-best, mga reactions rin is pag nag-iinom mga kami, pare, birder ka? Doon lalabas na lahat ako kabastusan. O pare, birder ako. May mga connotations about birding, bird, <laughs> birdies, yun na yun. Yun na yun, dabit. Oo, oh, pare, kakapit lang. Oo, oh, pare, may hindi ko sa bird. <laughs> you learn kasi, you learn bird watching only if you go out with fellow birders. Hindi kayang mag-isa lang kasi ang dami yung pwedeng tanong yun na yung knowledge na meron sila na pwede i-share sa nila sa'yo. Yun yung magandang experience sa being in the club. Yung pinaka enjoy ko na being a WBC member is being able to enjoy nature more. Kasi pinapasin mo ng iwan. Tsaka yung when going out birding, meron ko ng ibang ginagawa na hindi lang ba sa pagpunta sa beach, lalamoy ka lang, iinom or kakain. It's you, you now look for something, something else. You look for something else to do. What I realized na from joining, from the two years I've experienced sa club, is that yung kinaka-favorito kong sabihin kapag nag-guided ko is that hindi lahat ng ibon maya. We just have to be aware na nandyan sila. Kailangan lang buksan yung mga mata natin. We are all ordinary people. We just have this passion for birds and environment. So if you're interested or want to share our passion, join the Wild Bird Club. It's nature fun. I can see the sunset in your eyes, brown and gray. And blue besides, clouds of stalking islands in the sun. I wish I could buy